sa kapagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas to. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. DILJ, may klaro nga gikinahanglan ang plebisito kung buakon ang lalawigan sa Subo. Mayor Rama, may pahibaw nga way kausaban ka sa Emergency Operations Center. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Hinyusang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, DILJ Director Attorney Ayan Kenneth Lucero ni Ingon, nagikinahanglan ang plebisito kung mabahin ang Cebu Province o ang Mactan Island. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Kiano Eliptico, ang ato ang CNU Media Intern. Gipahayag ni DILG Director Attorney Ian Kenneth Lucero na kinahanglan o plebisito ang pagbahin sa probinsya sa Sugbo o sa isla sa Mactan kung matinuod. At sa isa ka interview, kiniusa sa kipang storyaan ka ron. Human giingon ni Lapu-Lapu City Junard Ahong Chan na mao ay isa sa iyang plano pohon. Mao ang pagbutar sa isa ka importanteng isyo o desisyon na nagkip sa tanan mga konstituente sa usa o duha ka lugar. Matod pa ni Attorney Lucero na ay mga kriteria or verifiable indicators sa dili pa maghimo og plebiscite para sa pagbahin. Una, ang income sa probinsya, ang populasyon, economic purpose ug ang land area. Dugang pa kinahanglan nay pagtugot sa tanan taw sa mismong lugar ug walay mutumaw na panagsumpaki. Ang tibuok probinsya affected. So dapat ang participation sa mga tao sa tibuok probinsya mutingog kung gusto ba nila kining mabuak uh, kanang mubuwag ning usa ka portion or usa ka component LGU sa probinsya. Posibleng maabdan og usa o duha ka tuig ang pagplebisito kay taas og grabe ang mahimong preparasyon ni ini kung madayon ang pagbahin sa probinsya sa Sugbo ug sa Mactan. Kiano Eleptico, CNU Media Intern, CCTN News. Ipasusi ni Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama kung natuman baba ba ang ipagawas ni ini ng executive order nga naghimo og oplan ding gera o sa kalakang kini sa kagamhanan sa nakbayan sa Sugbo aron batukan ang pagsaka sa kaso sa dingge. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Quinstein Bardinas ang ato ang CNU Media Intern. Tao ni Cebu City Mayor Mike Rama kung natuman ba ang ipagawas ni ini nga Executive Order Number no. 173 kun Oplan Dinggera usa ka lakang aron batukan ang nagkasaka nga kaso sa dengue sa Cebu City. Gimandua ni ini ang iyang Executive Vice President Attorney Colin Russell nga mususi ni ini sanglit mauman kini ang naghimo sa EO. Una nang gibutyag sa Cebu City Health Department nga bisan ug nagkasaka ang kaso sa dengue sa Cebu City apan ang trend ni ini paubos. Human nga nakatala lang sila og 250 cases sa dengue sa buwan sa Hunyo, itandi sa buwan sa Mayo nga niabot og 361 cases. Ang maong kalambuan gikalipay ni Mayor Rama, apan kini mitataw nga padayon gihapon ang pakigbatok sa dengue, aron gud maubos pa ang kaso. I'm glad that it was what I have seen that it plateau or probably going down. Di gera, continue. Di gera, continue. Bottoms up, everybody should be involved. Formal ng giisyo kagahapon ni Mayor Michael Rama ang Executive Order 173 na naguluhan o oplan ding gera. Tumung sa EO No. 173 ang panaghiusa sa tanang sektor sa pakigbatok sa dengue. Gimandua ng mga komunidad, establishmento, institusyon o tanang entities din sa syudad sa Sugbo nga muhimo gyud og aksyon alang sa pagpulbos sa mga area nga gitawag og mosquito breeding sites. Gitambagan usab sa mayor ang katawhan nga muumol og self-protection measures sama sa pagsulob og long pants og long sleeve shirts og ang regular nga paggamit og mosquito repellent kun dunay gipamati sa lawas Giawag usab kini nga magpakonsulta dayon. Gimanduan usab sa mayor ang mga opisyalis sa barangay ug tinugyanan sa nagkadaiyang departamento sa City Hall nga muumol og konkreto nga aksyon 
aron maputol o malikayan sa mga tao ang maong sakit. Ang health centers, medical facilities o hospitals kay kinahanglan nga nakaikipo po kanunay alang sa pag-atiman sa mga pasyente nga nataptan o dengue. Winston Bardenas, CNU Media Intern, CCTN News. Gihangop sa kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo ang pagkatudlo ni Kanye PRO7 Director de Bolsinas isip advisor karon sa Peace and Order Council. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Teres Eliseo ang ato ang CNU Media Intern. Atul, sa flag racing sa Cebu City Hall ni Atong Lunes, Hulyo 4, gibutyag ni Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama ang pagbalik ni kanhi direktor sa PNP nga si General Dibol Senas. O tungod ni Ini Mahinang Pun nga gidawat sa kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Subo, ang pagkapili ni General Senas nga mamahimo Cebu City Advisor sa Public Safety o Peace and Order. Si Guni Police Lieutenant Colonel Maria Teresa Makatangay, Information Officer sa CCPO, nga ang presensya ni General Dibol makahatag og maayong pundasyon sa bisan unsang inisyatiba sa kapulisan sa pagpatuman o kalinaw sa Dak Bayan. The, I believe his presence in uh, the Cebu City Hall uh, will, will provide a uh, very good um, uh, backdrop and foundation uh, to whatever uh, police initiatives uh, that may uh, be done in order to improve the peace and order uh, Dugang ni Makatangay nga walay angay kahadlok ang pagkatudlok ang senas o ang ngayang mahadlok kad tumagahig ulo sa katilingban. Probably those that will fear him are those people who are, um, what do you call this one, let's say, mga kriminal na ba? Uh, mga mga, mga uh, gahig ulo. I think they should uh, fear uh, uh, the law enforcement uh, sector because We will really run after them. So wala pa siya matudlo sa maong posisyon. Daan na may konsulta ang kapulisan kang General Senas may tungod sa law enforcement matters. Kay duman nga si General Dibold Senas ang kanhi direktor sa PRO7 ni atong 2018 o chief sa PNP ni atong 2020. Kansang performance ni Ini ang gitanaw sa pagkapili sa iyang posisyon. Therese Eliseo, CNU Media Intern, CCTN News. Wala unay kausaban nga ipatuman si Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama sa Emergency Operations Center din hi sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo apan bisitahon niya kini pagbalik aron masuta kun unsa pay mahimo nini nga ipatuman nga mga programa alang sa kalabuan sa syudad. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Judge May Dihuan ang ato ang CNU Media Intern. Nagkanayon si Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama nga wala sila'y usbon sa Emergency Operations Center kon EOC Cebu City nga gipanguluhan ni re-elected City Councilor Joel Garganera. Apan si Goni Rama nga iha kining bisitahon pagbalik aron masuta kung unsa may mga pwede ipatuman o dugang buhaton sa EOC Cebu City nga makatabang sa syudad. You know, my philosophy and advocacy and ideology includes the so-called Marangayan Bayanian Voluntarism. And most of all, Okuta, Osarata, Kuyukta, Obanta, last is Mukada, Master One, No All, Do All. Kahinam duman ang EOC Cebu City na umul og ni tutok sa pag-atubang sa COVID-19 pandemic, ilabi na dihang nahimong epicenter sa COVID ang Cebu City. Doon na sila mga personnel nga mo trace sa mga nagpositibo sa COVID, mo extract o mudala sa mga COVID-19 positive patients sa mga isolation facilities sa Cebu City kaniadto. Gani imitabang sab sila sa pagpahinumdum sa katauhan, nga padayon nga musunod sa basic health protocols, aron malikayan nga matakdan sa maong virus. Apan dihang mikunod na ang kaso sa COVID-19 sa syudad sa Sugbo ug nahimo ng alert level 1 ang Cebu City, ang mga personnel sa EOC gihatagan og laing tahas. Mitabang sila sa Cebu City Health Department dili lang sa vaccination campaign kontra COVID apan apil na sab ang pagbatok sa kaso sa dengue sa syudad. Gani sa EOC mismo do na nay vaccination nga nahitabo di intutukan nila ang mga bata isip pagpangandam sab sa pagpahigayo na unya sa face-to-face -face classes. Georgie Medi One, CNU Media Intern, CCTN News. Binuhi nga baboy sa usa ka residente didto sa barangay Bugot, lungsod sa Argao, giingong gilugos sa ilang silingan ni adtong Lunes ni sa Kadlaon. Kinatao sa baboy nagkadugo pa og ang iyang uh, pagkadiskubre samtang ang short pants kon ang purol sa suspek na habilin usab. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. 
Mi reklamo karon nga usa ka bulupyo sa barangay Bugot lungsod sa Argao human niya madiskubrihi nga ang ihaga biruhing baboy gilugos og tawo sa sulod sa anini si Pamela Bangkali treasurer sa mong barangay ni Tugan nga pagkabuntag nitong Lunes una nga nakabatiko ang iyang bana nga adunay daghang dugo ang nga nagpasa sa sawog sa kulungan sa ilang nga baboy kaon ta wala man kini masamad dali siya nga gitawag niini og ilang gihiling ang baboy og ilang nakita nga nagkadugo na usab ang kinatawo niini nga may hinungdan nga nakatuo na sila nga gilugos gid kini og gamay sa bot pang nga adunay short sa lalaki nga naha bilin saad dali nila nga gipahiling sa ilang silingan nga moy tig atiman sa mga baboyan sa maong barangay ug mibot tiyag gid kini nga giamong amungan ang maong baboy pagbuntag pag panglalog na nagud niya sa igay mo na ta yang pantan nga daghan nagtuo sa iyang mga sa iyang kulungan sa gud sa baboy unya ang baboy pod mismo sa iyang kinatawo sa kanang babaw gud sa iyang mga ikog dali dapit sa may dapit dapit niya or paas nga daghan na siyang dugo unya may shirt nga nakabutang sa pikas na luwang pod sa kwarto sa baboy nya wala na may wala na may baboy at mga nakabutang so bakanti na siya dito no butang iya ha Giyangko ni Pamela nga wala nila mamatik di nga doon ay kasika silang ad sa baboy sanglit bigintang kini silang gabalay o gangit nito sa mga maong dapita. Walang pagtuo sa mga silingan nga gitripan lang ang mga nga baboy pinaagi sa pagtuslok sa kinatao. Apan natingala siya nga nung doon ay short sa lalaki nga nahabilin nga mga nakapaduna niya nga gilugos ngayon ang iyang biruhi. Kung sa may explanation sa short nga nahabilin kung panangitan mga ni wala niya lukusa pasin nga binuangan na daw gigdus-dus sa pagkahoy ang iyang kinatao then wala na may shirt na bilhin na nakapuningon basin nga trip ka daw kuno Tungkol sa mong hitabo na balaka si Pamela nga basin sa sunod dili na hayop ang ihang halugusun kung dili tao na ilabid nga daghan sila ng mga batanon ng babae sa lang barangay Si Police Major Andy Michael Roque ang hepe sa Argao Police Station mitugan nga wala pa mudangob silang buhatan ang tag-iya sa mong baboy Apan bisan pa manini muhin mo silang imbisigasyon sa hitabo o ilang pakikitaan ang tag-iya sa mong baboy aram mo sang atong reklamo sanglit animal cruelty ang atabangong kaso sa suspitsado Ayaw mo reklamo ni sir, kumagkon ang tagiya nga mo reklamo kayo siya sir. Nimbestigar nga sir. Okay, ang kon man ni sir kay siya may naikuan, siya may tagiya sa baboy. O kung siya nga mo reklamo sa tao, magkuan may appropriate charges. Pero kung di man siya mo reklamo sir, di kuan na siguro sa barangay kung say maayo nga kuan sir nga buhato na ng tao hana. Dugang ni Roque, gamuhin mo silang information drive sa mga bukirang barangay sa lungsod. Aron masayod ang publiko kung nun sa isang putanan kung ilang pala mas tamasan ang mga hayop. Mga lang yung konser, mga kung na yung konser na likayan na lang mga konser, mausban pa niya, namunamo na yung hang mabiktima. Ilong nasayod na ang barangay sa mga insidente, umihin mo na silang lakang ning maong pagbalita. Arnold Bustamante, CCT News. Philippine Accessible Disability Services mo pahigayon ng Dragon Boat Race karong Agusto 20 diya sa Dakbayan sa Mandawe kinitipik sa ilang kalihukan sa ilang Charter Day. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Ranel Enusian ang ato ang CNU Media Intern. Ang Philippine Accessible Disability Services kung pads nagpahigayon ng press conference kagahapon para sa ilang umaabot na sporting event competition na mao ang mandani bay Dragon Boat Regatta 2022 na ipahigay sa siyudad sa Mandawi karong Agosto 20. Ang mandani bay Dragon Boat Regatta 2022 nga partner siya sa kagamhanan sa siyudad sa Mandawi o mandani bay subay sa selebrasyon sa ika-53 nga Charter Day sa Mandawi karong Agosto 30. Mao kini ang pinakadako nga sporting event na ipahigayon sa Dakbayan nagkadaiyang 200 meter race category ang ipahigayon sama sa small boat category, women's master small boat category o uban pa ang mananaog makadawat og 20 mil pesos sila ni ingon nga gawas sa pagraise og funds alang sa pagsulod sa pad sa mga international events ang aktibidad ipahigayon aron sa pagpaila sa mga dragon boat racing sa tibuok nasod well number one nga nung nga nung buhaton ni event is to popularize the sports no uh, actually sikat na ang sports but we need to popularize it more para sa sa bisaya sa mindanao okay um Very nito kayo ang dragon boat, no? In in is a team sport, so pag team sport dapat teamwork, no? Nito tanaw na masaka boat na dumang synchronize kita tanan. And we can apply it, no? Sa mga trabaho natin, sa pamilya natin, dapat talaga nakakasundula. And then of course, we want also to make Manda Mandawe or and Mandani as the premier, no? One of the premier destinations, sports destination. Not only for dragon boat, no any water sports na pwedeng natin magawa sa Mandani and uh, ano siya, ideal talaga yung Mandani Bay. Ipahigayon ang dragon boat racing 200 meters gikan sa Mandani Bay nang hinaot ang mga organizers nga hangupon sa katawhan ang maong aktibidad. So this is the first uh, leg and we are planning to hold 
a two-leg series for this year. And hopefully, in the next year, we will be planning to hold at least three or four series. Ranel Inocean, CNU Media Intern, CCTN News. Maukad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ang atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Thursday within the 14th week in ordinary time and we offer this mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecasts and streamed celebration. We also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. We also pray for the intentions of all those whom we promise to pray for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore, yes, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. 
yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not man. The Holy One present among you, I will not let the flames consume you. The Word of the Lord. Israel, hear came from your throne upon the cherubim. Shine forth, rouse your power. Let us see. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, Drive out demons. Without costs, you have received. Without costs, you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts. No sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, Look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. 
If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dusts from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, every wonderful acts, every miraculous deeds that God has done will always entail human cooperation. There is no such thing as God's miracle without man's participation on it. Even in the many wonderful narratives of the many miraculous and wonderful deeds that Jesus did, there is always the cooperation of the human hands. Even in the very Eucharist that we are celebrating today, the bread and wine are works of human hands where God will miraculously change it into his body and blood. And even in the building up of the kingdom, there is always the participation of human persons. We hear the continuation of the gospel yesterday when Jesus summoned the twelve and called them apostles, chosen this uh, men among his disciples, and now he asked them to proclaim the kingdom of God. And that is to build up the kingdom here on earth. Yes, it doesn't mean that God is less powerful over it, but it is that when God has chosen us to be his co-sharers, to be his co-builders of the kingdom here on earth, because first and foremost, God has seen goodness in our hearts. He calls us not because we are worthy. He calls us not because we merit for it. But there is this basic goodness in our hearts that is considered to be an important building block in the building up of the kingdom of God. So also the readings of today tell us of that important participation of humanity. First, in the first, first reading from the book of Prophet Hosea, we are told about this situation where the people of Israel were infidel when they were unfaithful to the Lord. We are told from the, book, from the reading from the book of Prophet Hosea that the more Yahweh called them, the farther they went from him, sacrificing to Baals and even burning incense to idols. It is in our fidelity that we become effective cooperators in the building, in the building up of the kingdom of God. However, we are not just spectators of this. However, we are not just wanting to stay afar from this, but we can be an active participators. We can be an active collaborators of the building up of the kingdom of God here on earth. When Jesus asks and summoned his apostles that they can cure all sorts of illnesses and sickness, they can even raise dead. This is the kind of the entrustment of the power and authority from Jesus to his apostles, not because of them, but because of God. He wants us to be his sharers. He wants us to be his collaborators. Yes, it's just a matter of accepting it in our hearts. It's just a matter to be convinced that we are all called for this. Not just for the few, but we are all called to be participators, to be collaborators, where God makes us to share His mission of the building up of the kingdom of God here 
on earth. Amen. Prayers are the faithful. In sending the apostles, Jesus told them not to be hampered by a lot of provisions, but to trust in God and in the hospitality of those who receive the gospel. Moreover, they were to give it without costs. Let us pray with confidence, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. May today's preachers of the gospel learn from the example of St. Paul, who did not make use of his right in the gospel, so as not to put an obstacle to its preaching way. We pray. May preachers learn from St. Francis of Assisi, who told his followers, go and proclaim the gospel, and if necessary, speak, for a good deed is more powerful than words. We pray. May the Lord open the hearts of those who hear the message of salvation and receive it with joy and thanksgiving. We pray. May the Christian people help provide for the needs of the preachers and missionaries, for the Lord has ordered that those who preach the gospel should live by the gospel. We pray. May we willingly share our time, talents, and possessions with others, for indeed we have received from the Lord freely and without cost. We pray. Loving God, may your faithful people collaborate in the spread of your kingdom, some to announce the gospel and others to receive it with joy. May your peace reign in the heart of everyone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. Looked upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grants that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the chorus of angels, we praise you, and we joy, we proclaim. Uh-huh. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The two the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of her mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but when I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord, let us pray the Oracho Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, 
and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through these crises and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.